Hi there, this is Nikki Rowland and today I'm making a layout for Hey Little Magpie. Um, so I am using the Crate Paper All Heart collection this month. It's been one of my favourite collections of 2019 so far. It's a really lovely girly collection but it also has mixed in with it some lovely blue, teal, greens um, and it's a really fantastic lovely lovely collection. It also has silver which has my heart at the moment. Um, so I am um, getting out my border punches. So I decided to make a layout with lots of different border punches um, and then actually I changed my mind and just used one. Um, so right now I am um, cutting some strips of the different papers in the All Heart collection. So I've gone for, they're about one and a half inches wide by about eight and a half inches long each. Um, some of them are slightly shorter or slightly longer. I wanted to have a bit of variety um, but um, I wanted to keep them roughly the same width just because I thought it would be easier in terms of layering up the pieces. Um, so I've cut a, a whole load of those um, out there um, and you can see that I've cut the blue one at the bottom um, with a scallop punch. Well um, I initially started to use that, uh, think I was going to use that one um, and I was going to do a whole load of different um, patterns going down. Um, Always when I use border punches, I have them kind of at the bottom of any paper layers. Um, however, I decided to use this notebook punch because um, in the All Heart collection, there was a sheet of notebook paper and I really, really loved it. I've used it on several layers already. Um, but um, I thought I'd bring that through, um, even though I have none of it left. So I thought I'd bring that design of the notebook through um, to this layout as well. Um, so I'm just going through and distressing all of the edges of all of my uh, border strips. Um, and you can see that I've used the no notebook punch um, on the top one there. Um, I couldn't um, distress the edges of that bottom piece I'd already cut because I'd already cut the notebook. So I'm just going to cut it the other way around instead and hide the other edge underneath the uh, next layer. So I'm just going through and using my notebook punch. So it's a slightly different um, notebook punch than the ones that are available today. Um, I've got, had it for about 100 years. I um, mean, it's a stamping up one um, and um, it has a little notch in it and uh, you just line up the notch with the next um, two um, notebook holes. <laughs> um, and, um, and then you just keep going all the way along. So every time you line up this notch and you can just keep going. So it's not the same as a normal border punch, which is a long punch. And then you line up each side. Um, on this occasion, it is this little, um, it only punches two of those notebook uh, holes at a time. And then you just move along. So uh, very old style, old school, um, but it still works. And um, it will always um, have a place in my stash. Um, how awesome is a notebook punch? Uh, so anyway, I've just gone through and I have done all of those um, pieces with the notebook punch. Now I'm not sure about the bottom one, I might, um, the blue one, that's that one, it's already got a scallop on the bottom so it might be that I keep that, I think I do keep that in the end, but at this point I was like oh do I cut it off, do I not use it at all, do I just keep it as it is, um, or what, so um, we'll see what happens and I do actually do something a bit different in the end. Um, so then I re realised that this blue one here hasn't had the edge distressed before I punched it Oh, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> so I just tried to distress each of those edges of that little, those little tiny pieces in between the notebook holes. Um, so I'm now um, giving some of my layers some definition. So the papers that had um, lots of pattern on, this one and the one with the um, the pink one I just did with the roses on, um, that um, they were a bit lost. You lost the notebook effect um, by putting them against another pattern. So I thought I, on a few, not all of them, but on a few, I would go round and add my um, black, add it with a black pen, all the detail around the edge. So literally I've just drawn around the whole thing. Um, so I'm doing something now that I should have done first. I'm splattering my white background. It's just a piece of marshmallow cardstock, which is great for mixed media, with a um, uh, black Indian ink. Now that takes ages to dry, <laughs> so I really should have done that first. Um, but uh, instead I've just um, done it now because I only just thought now that actually the background needed a little something different um, rather than just be plain. Um, and uh, I've said it's just one side to dry. Um, I wanted to um, layer up all of my um, border pieced, border punched pieces um, as one piece so then I could take it over to my sewing machine and add some stitching. Um, but um, I needed to have the background, a piece of paper, um, in place so that I could see roughly how it would look on a page 
rather than just work directly on my desk. So that's why I've got another piece of um, cardstock behind there. Um, I did um, dry those Indian ink spots with a heat tool for quite some time. Um, so they're pretty much um, touch dry uh, at the moment. Um, and I say I'm still going to add some stitching um, at some point as well. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm just going through the heart punch and punching out a few hearts from the same uh, crepe paper, all heart um, papers that I'm using. Um, and I'm also fussy cutting a few roses from that big uh, roses paper there. Um, so I wanted just to have a few hearts um, from the similar papers. I wanted to extend my pattern. So obviously you can see where the block of pattern is in the middle of the uh, layout there. Um, and um, I wanted to extend those patterns above and below um, my strips. So the best way I could figure out doing that was to add either embellishments or some extra patterns um, with by cutting out them, cutting them out with a punch. So I just use a heart punch. I'm just going around the edge with a white pen to give them a little bit of definition. I'm just going over it several times to make it stand out. My pe this pen kind of soaks into the card, the paper a bit. Um, so um, it's I'm just going over it several times to give myself a really decent white line. Uh, so that's what I'm doing there. Um, and I fussy cut out some roses from that roses paper as well as some little ones. So I used some bigger ones that I placed behind my photo layers um, and um, I want to use some smaller ones as well to add to the details. So now I've gone through with my sewing machine. I've used black thread. I obviously I have the black Indian ink on the background and I really love having black in a collection. It gives a real pop. It makes everything look so much more dramatic and um, great. <laughs> I can't even put a word. Um, but um, I love the black. Um, I really say I really think it, it gives adds something a lot to a collection. So um, I have also followed this through with the black thread on my sewing machine. So I've used um, a straight stitch along every single um, strip. I've used quite, um, I've done, sometimes I've done double, sometimes I've done single lines. Um, and I've also gone in with a deep um, zigzag stitch too. Um, I like my zigzag stitches to be close together but quite long. Um, so does that make sense to have a long zigzag but with the zigzag being close together not spread apart. So I get this really good solid um, look um, of stitching on um, the background. Okay so I've pulled all my threads through to the other side. I just use a pokey tool for this and I just pull a loop and drag them through um, and then um, I'm just um, fastening off my ends and I'm just doing that with some double sided tape and trimming them down. I could leave them hanging but I just I, they never seem to look right. Um, I, I know that other people um, do this really well uh, but I just, it just never ever seems to look right on my layouts. <laughs> I like to have um, thread and twiddles um, dangling but for some reason when I've done it on the machine it never seems to look right. So there you go. Um, I pulled them all through to the back and hidden them. Um, so um, I've got my photo there and I've mounted it onto a piece of white um, paper with black polka dots on. That's from the All Heart collection and it features in my notebook strips too. So I've mounted that and distressed the edges. I've also got a few of the squares left over from the speciality sheet that had those squares all over. Um, and because um, I, I cut the whole lot apart uh, on the previous layout for Hay for Magpie. And um, I have uh, just used the few that I have of those to, uh, um, as paper layers behind my photo as well. You can see that um, there on the left hand side. You see that's the back of the photo with a couple of those squares stuck to it, um, ready to position over onto the right hand side of my layout with those roses. Um, I'm just going through and making sure my notebook punches stand up nicely. I like to have my layouts to have lots of texture and dimension. So I really wanted those to stand out. So that's what I've done there. Just gone through, uh, used the pokey tool to pick them all up and use my fingers just to bend them up in the direction. And um, they all got flattened under my sewing, when I was sewing them. So here I am just going in with those hearts um, that I've done with the heart punch. Um, I've got a couple at the top. I'm going to add one at the bottom. Oh, putting an extra rose in there as well. Um, and I have um, a silver frayed sticker um, that says something like girls rule. Um, and uh, that's going to go underneath my photo. Um, so literally just kind of getting everything stuck in place now. Um, my uh, dots in the background, black dots, aren't quite um, necessarily in the right place. If I had a chance to do this again, I probably would have stuck to a central line. But as, as I was doing it, I wanted it to kind of be all over a random pattern around the whole background. So I guess I've, I've definitely achieved that. Um, 
but looking at it now, I wish they were slightly more uniform and uh, following a line rather than a random pattern. But there you go, we'll work with it, we'll work with it. Um, so now I'm going through the ephemera, I'm going through the um, puff, oh here I go with the, with the bottom edge. Right, so I decided to go with that um, scalloped edge, but um, I've got this fabulous um, pom-pom trim that I got on Amazon. Um, and then when it arrived in the post, it was huge. <laughs> this is the problem with ordering things online, right, that you can't see them. Um, the pom-poms were just ginormous, and some people can make that work, but for me, they were just so huge. I just couldn't, I was like, well, what the hell am I going to do with those? Um, so, so they've just sat there on my desk for a while, but I actually figured that they would look quite good in between the scallops um, on this. Um, and then the right colour, they're a dark navy, so they look really good. Um, so that's what I've done. I've put them at the bottom of this layer and it works really well with the scallops and the, you know, being on the bottom edge and having lots of white space underneath them. Um, now I'm coming in with my title. This um, particular set of thickers from the Crepe Paper All Heart Collection is one of my favourites I've seen in ages. Um, it's a, just a really fabulous, fun font in a great colour. It has stars in there as well and it has um, different fonts. It has capitals and lowercase. Um, it has different fonts on of each letter, not of each letter, of each letter, but some. And I just love the mix and match uh, look um, that that gives. So they're some of my favourite stickers. Thickers. They're also foam, which also makes me happy because they stay in place. Uh, chipboard ones always fall off, and I or I have to sew them through or um, add glossy accents underneath them. But uh, foam behaves and uh, stays in place. So. Um, those are probably my all-time favourite thickers uh, at the moment. Obviously, new ones will come out next week and I'll change my mind and they'll be my favourite. <laughs> but at the moment, these ones are definitely my favourite. Um, and they're a great colour too. They're this fantastic pink that appears in this collection. So, I got my um, Scooty Corn um, title at the top there. I wanted it at the bottom, um, but because of the pom-poms, the pom-poms cast a bit of a shadow as well. Um, because they're so huge, they really overpowered the... Um, alphabet when it was down there so um, I moved the uh, scooty corn to the top. Um, I've kind of gone with this vertical line um, above and below my photo so I wanted to stick with that but really the heart at the top was in the way and really my scooty corn should have gone over a bit to the right but actually I'm quite happy with the way it's turned out in the end. So um, so yeah right now I'm just I'm going through and I've pulled out ephemera. I'm also trying to get in one of these tags and the Star charms, the enamel charms. I really love these. I think they add something extra to the layout. Um, I've been in love with the tassels forever. Um, they're brilliant. I love them. I've loved them in other collections as well, and um, I really enjoy using a tassel. These ones are paper, so they're a lot thinner than some of the previous ones that we've had with beads and other things. Um, so these ones are really nice. They're very flat and they stick nicely um, to the layout. They're a paper product rather than uh, fabric or uh, material. Um, and there's no bulk to them, which is which is great for scrapbooking, obviously. Um, and I've added a star charm, the enamel charm. Um, I love these as well. I think they also add uh, something lovely to the layout, especially if they kind of if it moves a little bit, if it dangles. Um, generally, I like to make sure that my star charms or any charms um, look like they're dangling, but actually they don't move. <laughs> so I kind of stick them in place when they're falling in a natural um, dangling position. Um, so there's a phrase I didn't think I would say. Um, so, <laughs> so anyway, I'm still fiddling with this, um, the vertical line, uh, top and bottom of my photo of embellishments. So I've moved that pink heart around at the bottom loads of times. I've put in one of those fantastic glittery resin star, no, it's not star, heart stickers. Um, they're really, really awesome. Um, do you know what? I had to move that pink heart so many times that um, I've had to reapply the foam pads because they weren't sticky anymore. <laughs> Um, so, so anyway, I've gone through, I've added ephemera, I've added puppy stickers, I've added that glittery uh, resin heart, um, I've added um, extra bits and pieces here, there and everywhere, I've added um, silver thread um, tangles behind my photo and under my charm, um, I've added a charm, I've added a tassel, obviously the stickers and the pom-pom trim, so I've really kind of gone for it on this layout, everything is on this layout. <laughs> Um, so I started off by writing my journaling with a white pen onto that blue scalloped piece, but I really couldn't see it, I just lost all the writing. So I cut some white strips out of um, cardstock and I'm writing on there with a grey pen. I was going to use black, but I thought the grey would be a bit softer and fit in well with the silver. So um, in the end I decided that the bottom edge of the layout needed a little something more. 
so I felt like it needed a bit of grounding. So I'm distressing the edges of the whole of my night out, but I've cut a nick out of the bottom edge there. And you see um, that little kind of di not diamond, triangle look. Um, and I'm just putting a small bit of pattern paper in there just to bring the eye down, follow that um, vertical line down to the bottom of the layout, um, and um, just added a little something extra there. Um, and that's it, that is me done. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, you can check out this layout and another layout um, made with Create Paper or Heart on the Hazel Magpie blog today as well. Um, so go check that out. Um, thanks so much for watching. That was Nikki Rowland.